guys welcome back to my channel I am so glad you're here thank you so much for being here today I have a really different kind of video than I would normally do on my channel but today we're going to talk about what it's like to be a musician's wife so last weekend I posted on my Instagram some work that my husband was doing he was opening for g -Eazy and Warren G and I thought that was so exciting so I posted it on my Instagram and I had a lot of people respond and be like, oh my gosh, that's so cool, are you going? Um, and I just wanted to talk about what it's like to actually be a musician's wife. I feel like there are a lot of assumptions and there are some things that people may not realize what it takes to really be the spouse of a musician. It's definitely a different kind of balance in your relationship and in life too. Um, so yeah. So I've been with my husband for about five years and we've been married for one year. We're actually celebrating our one year wedding anniversary next week. So I feel like I have a lot of information under my belt and a lot of experience with this so I can make this video for you. <laughs> So before we get started, I should probably tell you guys what kind of musician my husband is. He plays the bass, he plays electric bass, and he can also play upright bass, even though that's kind of rare and it, he doesn't play it that often. Um, but he is mostly a touring musician. He did studio work in the past, but not really that much studio work now. Who knows what will happen in the future? But for the most part, right now, he just tours. Um, when I say by touring, he when I say touring, I mean he goes far away <laughs> and he has gigs. Um, so we live about two and a half hours outside of LA and he pretty much is based out of LA, like all the work he does is either in LA, sometimes Orange County, um, or they're flying him from LA to wherever. <laughs> um, and yeah, that is basically what he does. Before we get into the nitty gritty, I want to start off by saying I love that my husband is a musician. I love that about him. I never knew, I could have never predicted that I would marry a musician, <laughs> um, but it is so cool and I think it's so unique and I am excited to see like my kid like see his dad playing the bass we're having a baby in two months and like that is just so cool to share that and I can't believe he my husband can make a living off of his art form it's really uncommon um it's because it's hard <laughs> so a lot of people who they who are an artist you know whether it's like a visual artist or um, a musician or you're a writer or whatever um, it's really hard to pay your bills just doing that art and my husband does that <laughs> he pays um, bills doing that I mean I have a job too so but you know he he before me that's how he paid his bills and he pays most of our bills still he's definitely the breadwinner in this household so um, I think that's really cool and that's I'm really proud of him and it's really hard to do that but he has built this life where he can do that I also love to see him play I love to see him on gigs and I like to see him in a band it's so cool how um, he can move an audience and really get a room going and then also to see him like functioning in a band because he is he plays bass so he's not like a, he doesn't you know just do an acoustic guitar and sing by himself he plays in bands and it's so cool to see him working in a band and them all pulling off this you know huge thing to me it's really huge because I don't play music I don't play any music and I don't know how to play any instruments so to me like how they can um, I don't know come together and then like make this awesome sound and play these songs is like it's crazy so I really love that <laughs> okay now we're gonna talk about the not so great things <laughs> or things that could be difficult in your relationship if you are a musician's wife or husband or whatever it is if you're in a relationship with a musician your dynamic and your relationship is going to be way different than the other couple next to you um so all right so it's time to talk about some of the not so great things or some things that maybe 
difficult in a relationship when you are dating a musician. Um, so one of the biggest things is that he is gone for a long chunk of time. Sometimes, sometimes he's gone for two days, three days, four days. I think the longest, I'm very lucky by the way, because I think the longest he's been gone for one solid amount of time was like nine days. And um, for me, that's a really long time, but for a lot of other people, that's not that long. There are so many musicians that are gone for months at a time, weeks at a time. They're touring and they're like on a bus literally for two months. Um, and I could not imagine not seeing my husband for two months. And you know, you, you never know what's going to happen. Like there can totally, totally be a job opportunity for him where it makes sense for him to leave for that long, but that is really hard. Even when he's just gone for like three days, it's hard. Um, I miss him all the time. He's my best friend and like I enjoy all of his company and everything I do in my life is with him, like all the fun things I do. So um, when he leaves, definitely like there, it's it could be a little lonely. I have a cat she keeps me company and we're about to have a baby in a couple months so I'll definitely have my hands a little more full um when the baby comes but if you're so like I like a few years ago we didn't even have a cat and when he would leave it would be so lonely I'd come home from work and then I would you know be tired but then the house is just quiet it makes a huge difference if you could like get a pet keep you company or if you're very social maybe it wouldn't bother you as much um we I'm not very social. <laughs> also, we live in the middle of nowhere. So there's not like a ton of people around. We live in a very rural area. So yeah, um, that could be hard. But at the same time, like I can also be very independent. And you know, I have like my routine that I do when he's not home. When he's not home, I have like my, my go-to shows. I'm like watching, it's my time to catch up on Netflix because when he is home, he's not like a TV or movie kind of person. He doesn't want to watch those. So like those, those are the things I'm like, okay, well, my husband's leaving and that sucks. But like, you know, I can do a few things that he doesn't normally like to do, like eat pizza and watch Netflix. <laughs> The other thing is his work environment. The atmosphere is definitely different than other jobs. He's, um, you know, working late nights. There's alcohol, there's drugs, there's women. <laughs> um, and that atmosphere can be very intimidating for someone who isn't normally in that atmosphere like me. I didn't I don't go out like I did when I was in college and that's it like I don't like that atmosphere and when I started dating him it was definitely an insecurity that I had um, I don't really have that insecurity anymore but definitely five years ago I was insecure about it <laughs> um, it's a lot especially when you go to the gig and then you see like all the stuff going on and you're like oh my god what happens when I'm not around right um, that could be like something that you'd have to like get over like me. <laughs> um, now I just don't care. Like that's just his job and it's going to be like that no matter what. Um, the other thing that is really hard and that bothers me is um, he has to drive a lot and a lot of times it's so late. Like sometimes he doesn't get home till four in the morning. Um, and I have so much anxiety over that and I don't think that will ever ever go away um, On nights where I know he's driving home so late I cannot sleep and my body Automatically wakes up when he's supposed to be home. So if I'm like, okay, he's supposed to be home at 2 30 My body literally wakes up at 2 15 and I'm just laying in bed waiting for him to get home because I'm worried you know like nothing good happens in the middle of the night so like I don't know my husband and I we don't drink but like you never know there could be a drunk driver on the freeway and or he could be so tired that he falls asleep I don't know I have like paranoia about that it's totally normal and I don't think that will ever go away Okay, going back to the work schedule thing. So he doesn't work a nine to five, right? I have a more normal job um, and I go to work, you know, four days out of the week and I leave the house for, you know, eight hours, nine hours a day. Um, when he's not touring, he's 
at home. <laughs> so what I mean by that is like sometimes there's like two whole weeks where he's home. Like he is home girl, like he is home the whole time. So if you're someone where like you need space from your partner, like that could be an issue. But for me, I enjoy every freaking minute of it when he's home. But I could see how if you're used to like you and your partner going two separate ways and you're like, we're working our nine to five, we don't see each other for half of the day and then we come home and then we see each other, that could be an issue. But for us, when he's not touring, he's home. <laughs> so you could just think about that. Okay, I have two more topics that I wanted to touch base on. The first one being money, and then the second one being an assumption that I feel like most people make. But the first one, money, is a big thing. So if you're with a musician, they don't get paid regularly like you probably do. So for me, I have a normal job. I get paid every two weeks. I know that my paycheck will be there every other Friday. I can count on it. My husband and I can count on it. But for him, he gets paid when he does gigs. So if he doesn't get a gig, if he doesn't have a gig for two weeks, there's no money for two weeks. But then all of a sudden he might have a, you know, back to back to back to back gigs and then all of a sudden we have this huge lump sum of money coming in so that is like just one thing we definitely have to do our monthly budgeting different than most people because most people have money coming in every week or every two weeks for us we have my paycheck coming in every two weeks but then his paychecks uh are not as predictable so like you know we have to plan sometimes we're like okay well we're not getting any money for these two or three weeks while you're home but then when you go on tour we're gonna have a huge injection of money coming in and then we have to you know pay our bills and then save a big lump sum for the next month and it's it's a different kind of budgeting than a normal family would make I guess so yeah Okay, the last thing is kind of just like an assumption I think people make. Um, I think people make the assumption that I get to go everywhere with him. He is still working, <laughs> you know, just like I don't bring my husband to work. Um, he doesn't get to always bring his wife to work. So I get to see him play gigs. I do get to see him play gigs, but they're usually local gigs um, like in LA or Orange County. But like these huge gigs that he gets to do, like last weekend he opened for Jeezy and Warren G in Phoenix. I don't get to go to that. If I did go, I could go to that, but guess what? I have to fly myself there and I have to buy my own festival ticket. You know, they're flying him there, but they're not flying his wife there. You know what I mean? Um, and then he went straight from Phoenix to Miami to play a huge Super Bowl party. I don't get to go to the Super Bowl. I don't get to go to that Super Bowl party. I'd have to fly myself all the way from Phoenix, so from LA to Phoenix to Phoenix to Miami. So that's not very like cost efficient. By the time we did that, he wouldn't be bringing home very much money at all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, but there are times where I've gone with him to bigger gigs. Like I got to go with him one time to, this is just an example, but I got to go with him to this huge gig in Vegas that I thought was really fun. It was at the MGM, um, at the MGM mansion actually, which was really cool to go in there. And they got us our own room and he was driving there, not flying there, so I just hopped in the car with him. And then usually towards the end of the year, he gets to go to Hawaii for gigs, um, usually in like December or November. And I haven't gone before with him to those gigs, but a lot of other of the other bandmates' wives have gone with them just because um, the band is paying for their flight and their hotel, so all you have to do is pay for the wife's flight to, you know, Maui. Um, so we might do that this year, I don't know. But those are just like some assumptions. I think people think I can just go everywhere with my husband, but it's like, the band's not paying for everyone's wives to go everywhere, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Alright guys, I think that is it. That's all for this video. If you guys have any other questions about like 
my life or what it's like to be a musician's wife leave them down below I might make like a part two to this video I just wanted to do like a quick I don't know like an honest moment about what it's like to be a musician's wife overall I love it I love my husband I think it's so cool I like to brag about him and be like oh my husband you know he's doing this gig like you wouldn't believe <laughs> anyways um thanks so much for watching you guys are awesome and you can follow me on instagram cafeteria food with a k bye